So a lot of people have wondered how I became a Power Ranger. This is my story. Basically, I wasn't even auditioning anymore. I actually signed up to go back to school for kinesiology and a friend of mine was auditioning for something and he saw the Power Rangers casting room and he, of his own volition, walked in there and told them that he had a friend who was a circus performer, me, and that they should meet me. So he told me about it and I immediately got on the phone with my agent, told them I was interested in auditioning for Power Rangers. Lo and behold, in the next few weeks, I had an audition in person, drove to LA, met the casting team, and the first audition was just reading the sides for a character. So made up names, they don't tell you really any backstory. Usually for high profile shows and movies, they don't wanna leak information about what they're gonna show. So they switch names or plot points. So when you're reading for the audition, it may be entirely different from what actually makes it to screen. So my first audition when I went in for Power Rangers was just reading the character. One character, um, you don't know what color ranger you're auditioning for. Usually there's like sides for the guy rangers and sides for the girl rangers and you just all read generically at first. No physical demonstration or anything. You just do the scene. If they like you, your agent usually will get an email or a call saying they want you to come to the callbacks, which will be a couple weeks from the first audition. For the callbacks, the side stayed the same, but we were told to bring solid colors. So, you know, wear red or green or blue or just bring different shirts. And this time they asked for a roughly 60 second physical demonstration of some kind of skill set. What I did for the first one, I hand balanced. I straight up brought my hand balancing canes, did handstands on them in the room, and that was it. Then I got another callback. So this brings the two callbacks plus the initial up to three rounds so far. At this one, they wanted another physical demonstration. Again, roughly 30 to 60 seconds long, but something different than the first one. This time, the sides for my character were different as well. Again, I brought a bunch of different color shirts, all solid colors between what I thought the Rangers would be for the guys. And I did more hands dance just on the floor. I think I did the splits that time and I did some punches and kicks. I got another callback. Great. The fourth call was actually known as a chemistry read or a chemistry test. So this was a 10 hour long process where they brought in dozens of us, but we were like the final people that they wanted for the audition. Again, I brought my rainbow of shirts with me just in case. I had multiple characters they wanted to read for. Um, actually, when I got there, they gave me new sides to read within like 10 minutes just to see if I could fit that character. And it was actually the Black Ranger they wanted me to read for. Um, so I read the Black Ranger with a bunch of other people in the audition. So in a chemistry read, you actually read with other actors. It's not just you reading with a casting assistant or casting director. So they pulled a bunch of us into the room. I read as Black Ranger. Um, then I went in another time, actually with Michael Tabor, he ended up being the Green Ranger, Riley. So we read together and that time I was reading as the Red Ranger and he was reading as Green. That's the one I ended up getting. But at the time, you have no idea. You're just going in and hoping that they fit you into whatever kind of mold they have. You don't know what ranger they cast first and kind of make the team around. Uh, so at the fourth audition though, over the 10 hours, again, had to show physical demonstration. So I did a backflip and some other martial arty moves. Uh, we also had to run in the parking lot to show if we can run heroically. Not kidding. They actually filmed us running heroically or not heroically, depending on how you run, I guess. But uh, yeah, so hooray, I passed. I guess I can run heroically. Go team. Um, finally, um, we caught, called in in a group. It was myself, Camille, Yoshi. I want to say Michael was in it too. Um, and some other people who ended up not making it in the Dino Charge series. And they just wanted us to see if we had good energy. So we all like hugged each other and took pictures and smiled and laughed and uh, just stood next to each other for height. And that was really it. And then we left. I was told that was the last audition. And I actually signed my contract before I went into that. So they already, if you're that far along, they don't wanna to have to renegotiate with you because now that you're wanted, so you already signed basically like, this is what you'll get paid. This is how long the contract will be. This is where you'll live in New Zealand or whatever uh, before you even are hired, just so that all the paperwork's already done. So I didn't think there'd be another audition. I was told the fourth one was the final one. I didn't hear anything for weeks at that point. I was working at the San Diego Zoo, uh, being a full-time acrobat seven days a week. So actually uh, one of the casting assistants came and watched the show when I performed and I asked her, I was like, yeah, so did you hear anything? Do I get to trade? Cause I was a koala doing acrobatics. A big koala head, big koala suit. I was like, can I trade this in for like spandex? Is it for ranger spandex? Is that a thing? She's like, oh, I don't know. You know, of course she knew. She just didn't tell me. So the following Monday, I get a call and they're like, hey, this is from my manager. 
time. Hey, they want to see you one more time for Power Rangers. And I was like, are you kidding me? They've seen me four times already for Dino Charge. And I auditioned three times for Power Rangers Samurai, which was seasons ago. Why do they need to see me again? Like, I was mad because, again, working seven days a week means I had to drive from San Diego to LA to audition and then make it back in time for my show. So I was like, fine, whatever. I was just angry. So Caitlin and I drove up to LA and I was like, you know what, watch, they're just gonna like play a trick. Like I already booked it. Like I actually said this out loud. When I get there, go in the room, I was wearing my red shirt and they gave me sides right on the spot. Normally you don't cold read in an audition. That is super rare. Usually they'll at least give you a couple minutes in the waiting room. They literally handed me the sides and they're like, hey, all right, are you ready to go? I was like, can I walk out and rehearse? Like, no, you gotta go right now. I was like, okay. And in my mind, this is gonna be the worst audition ever. I haven't even read these out loud or in my brain yet. So I'm reading the scene and it says something about like how I'm talking to my master and they're giving me this treasure chest that if I open it, it will reveal my destiny. And then the casting director actually gave me a treasure chest. So they hand me this thing and I'm like awkwardly holding the paper and I open this chest and inside is this laminated picture of the red Dino Charge Ranger going, congratulations, Brennan Mejia, you're the red ranger. And then I'm looking at it, I'm like, really? They're like, yeah, I was like, really? Yeah, and they actually put this somewhere on YouTube. So you can actually watch the footage of all of us getting revealed. And then they gave me this like basket full of like Red Ranger toys and candies. And uh, then I got in the car with Caitlin and I was like, we're going to New Zealand. And I put on the Power Ranger Mighty Morphin theme song, played it multiple times as we drove back to San Diego. And they're like, by the way, you can't tell anyone for two months. So naturally I call Yoshi and I'm like, hey, cause I saw his name on the sign in sheet. I was like, hey, uh, did you uh, audition today? He's like, yeah, did you? I was like, yeah. He's like, what color? I was like, red. I was like, what color? Blue. And so of course we broke the rules and told each other immediately. So it was just incredible. Couldn't tell anyone um, until we were announced at Morphicon. Then I flew out to New Zealand, I think around August or September. Um, and the rest is history. So if you want your own origin story and you have questions about auditioning for Power Rangers, make sure you check this video out. Click this link, you're gonna wanna watch it so you guys can see all of my personal tips and answering questions that you guys have asked me on Instagram about the Power Ranger audition process.